Hi, first graders. If you will, go ahead and get your blue reading book and turn to page 112. The pictures and pages you see on my screen will be the same pages in your book. Okay. So, today we're going to be reading the story, The Big Circle. And down here I see a genre bubble. It's goldish yellow today. And stories that are fiction are made up stories. You will read a made up story about dinosaurs. Okay, so like Mrs. Garris always says, fiction, fake. Nonfiction means real. Fiction, fake. F and F. Fiction, fake. Okay, so we're going to read a fiction story about dinosaurs today. <clears throat> it's called The Big Circle. T-Rex is hungry. Big T-Rex wants meat. I wonder where he will get his meat. Where do you think? Let's see. Oh, a new dinosaur. This is a herd of Triceratops. This herd is walking home. So, what do you think? Let's see why. We have Triceratops here now. At home, this herd can get grass. Munching grass at home will make them fat. Oh. So, this herd of Triceratops doesn't want meat like T-Rex. They want to munch on what? They want to munch on grass. You got it. Here we see T-Rex peeking in the trees. Sniff, sniff. Big T-Rex smells with his nose. Mm, said Big T-Rex. This nose smells a baby. I can hunt it. I'll get it and it will make a good lunch. Yum, yum. Okay, so who does this T-Rex want to make his lunch? The baby Triceratops. Why do you think he'd go for a baby instead of a grown-up one, a bigger one? Hmm. Well, let's see what happens next. Big T-Rex rose up on his back legs. Big T-Rex ran up the slope and down. The herd saw Big T-Rex run. It was time to make a big circle. The small animals went inside the circle. The baby went inside too. Okay, so you have to try to picture this in your mind. It was time to make a big circle. So the triceratops are making a big circle. The small animals go inside the circle. And the baby goes inside too. Let's see why they would do this. the triceratops, they're all protecting those smaller ones that T-Rex wants for lunch, right? T-Rex doesn't give up. Now he thinks, all right, I'm going to make them run, then I can get my lunch. But the herd didn't run. They kept still and close together in the big circle. So the herd doesn't run. Tries, uh, the T-Rex tries to scare them and get them to jolt and run away and comes at them. That's kind of a hard thing to do. You have to be pretty brave if something big and scary like a T-Rex is running at you to not run, a, run away. I know I'd be running away. Those Triceratops don't. Why do you think they don't move? Hmm. Let's see. Then they gave Big T-Rex a poke and a bump. They drove him back. I bet they poke him with these big horns that they have on their head. Big T-Rex ran back up the slope. Those triceratops
Triceratops saw Big T-Rex run. Now all are safe. They will walk home and then munch grass there. Big T-Rex can't get them. The herd is safe. Wow, so it worked. I bet you've read about, or maybe we've talked about, animals who want to protect themselves before. And you might be able to think of some other examples of animals that stay in a group to protect themselves. Now, thank you so much for reading that with me. We'll be reading it again this week and doing some activities. Right now, you have an activity to go back to Seesaw and finish. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the big circle. I'll see you guys soon.